Hello, here we will be going over the MonkRes assignment algorithm. First we explain what is meant by an assignment problem. We are given a cost matrix MIJ for a worker I and a job J. We need to assign workers to a job in the cheapest way. We assume that each cost is non-negative and number of workers equals the number of jobs. These can be accounted for, but they are beyond the scope of this lesson. We start with an example. Here we have a house of students with household jobs to do. They decide to assign costs for each to do that job. How can we find the cheapest assignment? What would happen if we tried a greedy approach? Well, look at surfaces. Callum is the cheapest, so we assign him to surfaces. Now, for bins, the cheapest unassigned person is Bertie. For floors, the cheapest unassigned person is Davina. And finally, for bathrooms, Anne is the last person left. And this is the last job taken care of. Whoops. It looks like Anne can name her price for this job. This obviously isn't a viable approach, so let's try another way. What if we checked every possible matching? Well, there are four possibilities for surfaces, three left for bins, two for floors, and then one for bathrooms. This takes four factorial time. This isn't too bad for low n like four, but how about when n is large? How many matchings are there for a thousand workers? A lot. This approach isn't going to work either. This is the monk res algorithm, a more efficient way of finding matchings. We will go over an example to make it easier to understand. This is the same example as before. We will start at step 1. Here we have the minimum elements for each row. Now we have subtracted them from each row. Here we have the minimum element of each column. And now we are subtracting those from each column. Here is the algorithm for crossing elements with lines. We will go over this once here to stay within time. We make a basic assignment using an algorithm I will explain later. Here they are marked with an asterisk. First, we mark all unassigned rows. Then, we mark all columns with a zero in that row. Then, we mark the row which has an assigned zero in that column. Anne was recently ticked, so we do this again. There are no zeros in unticked columns for Anne, so we are done. Here we draw lines in every ticked column and unticked row. The number of lines is less than n, so we go to step 4. 10 is the minimum uncovered element, so we will subtract it from all uncovered cells. Now we add it to all cells covered by two lines. Here Bertie and Callum are both on floors. Here is a new placement of lines. We can see 23 is the minimum element so we will subtract it from all uncovered elements. Now we will add 23 to all elements that are covered twice. Now we will cover with lines again. We have four lines, so now we can move to step 5. Here is the algorithm for the basic assignment that we used earlier. We will start by finding the number of zeros in each row. We have available zeros, so we find the row with minimum zeros. In this case, Davina, who will be assigned to floors, the only zero in her row. Now we will reduce the number of available zeros in Davina's row. Now go through the column of the zeros and reduce the available zeros where one exists. So here, Anne on floors. Now Anne has the minimum number of zeros, so we do the same for her. Assign the zero. Reduce the row. Reduce the column. And now Callum is the new minimum. So we assign his row, reduce his row, and reduce his column, making Bertie the new minimum. So you assign his row to a, a column. We reduce the row and column. And now we have no available zeros left. So we are done. Here is our final matching. We have Anne on surfaces, Bertie on bins, Callum on bathrooms, and Davina on floors. This gives us an optimal cost of 204 from the original matrix. This is much better than our greedy method which resulted in 261. We will look at the time complexity of the overall algorithm and for each step. Subtracting the minimum from a row takes big O of n time. And we do this n times. So overall, it's big O of n squared time. Similarly, for subtracting from columns. Step 3 uses the line algorithm from before. The make assignment step requires big O of n squared time, so we are lower bounded by this. 
Then, using a stack to keep track of recently marked rows, we mark unassigned rows and put them on a stack. Find all zeros in that row, and for each column, mark it, and then mark the row containing its assigned zero if it is not already marked. We can only go through each row and column once, so we have big O of n squared time. We now augment the minimum element. This is quite simple. We find the minimum uncovered element in big O of n squared time, and then subtract it from the uncovered elements in the same, and add to doubly covered elements similarly. But we only subtract or add to each element at most once, so we have big O of n squared time. There is the potential to do steps 3 and 4 big O of n squared times though, since we do not necessarily add an extra line on each iteration. Now, selecting a matching as shown before, this takes big O of n squared time. And finally, from a matching, find the cost. So for each assigned job, find the price from the original matrix. And we are done. We have an overall time complexity that is big O of n to the 4th.